Hi, I'm Luke Harrison. I'm with GMInstrumentCluster.com. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to remove your instrument cluster from your Chevy Cavaliers. They're a bit tricky, so we're going to take our time and show you what you need to do. First off is the tools that we need is either a cordless drill with a little wobbly on the end and a 7 millimeter socket and a small screwdriver. Uh, this just makes it a little bit faster if you don't have a drill or ratchet with an extension will work just fine. So let's come over here I'll show you where to start. First off, what we want to do is there's two covers. This cover on this side and one on the other side. You just get a little screwdriver right back behind this little crack right here and pry it out. The thing pops right out and pulls out. There's two little grooves right there that hold it in right there. Okay. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There's a screw right here. Take that screw out, set it aside, to put it back in the vehicle here shortly. Let's go around to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a little screwdriver in here, and we're going to pop this out. Okay, on this one, the screw is right here. Okay, put it aside. Now we go back to the drill. Actually, while we're on this side, we open the glove box, and there's two screws here and here, right here, and right here. And that holds this part on. See how it's loosened up? There's also two screws back right underneath this airbag that hold the bracket for the airbag in place. You'll want a little flashlight so you can see back in there. And we take these two screws just back up in here out of the vehicle. Okay. Everything else we're going to do on the driver's side. So now that we have the bolts loose enough, we can pull this top cover up, just like that. Before we get too far, there's a little Phillips screwdriver, or your flathead like this. There's a screw right here in the center that we're going to take out. Okay, and then this piece right here, just gently pry up in the front, and it'll pop right up. There's two little clips to hold it in, you slide it out. Okay, now the top piece has little clips up on top. So you just gently pull up, and it pops right up just like that. And pull out, and then this entire system comes right off. Just like that. Okay, step that aside. Now we need to remove the bezel right here that's around the cluster. So what we do is we take the screws off from up top, one right here, one right here, and that loosens this all up, okay? There's two clips, one on each side and one right here. You just gently pull back on there, pull up here, run your finger along, and just pull back, and pull back, and then one right there. Now, there is electrical connectors we have to worry about. We want to make sure our steering column is all the way down, and then just gently slide. It gets caught up right here. you got to kind of slide this out, and then lift up like that. And now we have this wiring is on the back of the cigarette lighter. You just reach around and you'll actually feel a little, a little lever you can push down on right there. Just push down on that and pull out. So I'll show that one more time. Right there. Just push down right there. And it will pull right out. And then we're going to just gently kind of turn this around so we can get to the other connectors.
that's what they look like. You don't have to necessarily twist it around, but I wanted to be able to show it to you. And then we just pop it up like that. Some of them won't have this switch. Some of them will. Depends on if it has CNG or not. Okay. Set that aside, and then this piece is now removed. Okay. Now what we got left to do is just take these two screws out right here. And the instrument cluster slides up, have these two little grooves, and it's out. Now what I wanted to show you on this cluster is you can see that the gauges are not functioning properly. We have a temperature gauge that's not functioning. So that's why we're taking this one out. We're going to replace all the gauges, get those taken care of, and we back them up with a lifetime warranty. Once again, that's gminstrumentcluster.com, where we offer free shipping. All you do is go onto our website and click on shipping. We will come and pick this, pick this up from you or your auto shop. Once we get it here, we have a 24-hour turnaround for a full rebuild and uh, we send it back to you. If this is too much to do for you, if you don't feel comfortable with taking this kind of stuff apart, we will pay your shop to do it. Just call us and we'll give you the directions of how to do that or get on our website. I hope this helped and uh, once again, it's GMInstrumentCluster.com. Thank you.